everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card using the stencils from Card Front Stencil Pack 2 and the Love Story Scrapbooking Stamp and Thin Cut. So this is the Love Story Stamp and Thin Cut set. I'm going to use the florals and then I'm going to use the Just Because Sentiment from For All Occasions. So this is the stencil that I'm going to use. It's the floral one and some papers from the Noteworthy collection. So let's get started. First, I'm going to trim out my white daisy cardstock. And this is going to be my card front that I'm going to ink up with oxide inks. So I want to back it uh, with the Noteworthy uh, pattern paper as my base. So I'm kind of deciding how much I'm going to need. So I'm going to start out at three and three quarters by five and a, by five. And then I'm going to cut out my base here at four and a quarter by five and a half. And I know it's kind of hard to see on screen, but there's teensy tiny little dots. So I'm looking at it and it's covering up a whole row of dots. So I'm going to trim off like a sixteenth of an inch off of each side. Okay. Just so that you can see the dots on the pattern paper behind it. So I brought it up really close, but still I know it's hard to see on camera. They're really pale blue dots. Okay. So I'm going to use um, Distress Oxide ink and uh, Close My Heart Carries Mermaid Lagoon now. So I'm going to use that. And I'm bringing in my uh, spritz box so that I can spray my stencil with pixie spray. This is a, a low tack adhesive that keeps your stencil from moving around. So I'm just checking everything. First, I'm going to lay down a very light coating of Mermaid Lagoon. And I want to make this very light, but I do want to get color everywhere on this panel. And so I'm going to just go around and coat it with that color. And I'm using a blending brush because you can get a, a lighter coating of color using a blending brush. And then I'm just going to try to buff out that section that's a little bit darker with um, some tumbled glass. I want my design to kind of be in the upper right corner, um, that side of the panel. You'll see in a minute. Okay, so now I'm going in again with Mermaid Lagoon, and this time I'm using my sponge um, applicator because I can get a thicker, deeper color of the ink through the stencil here. So it's kind of tone on tone what I'm doing here. So I'm just pouncing and working the color in through the openings of the stencil. And again, I'm doing it, I'm leaving that bottom third on the left, um, not, uh, I'm not stenciling that portion of it so that my design just goes over part of that panel. Okay. All right. Now I'm ready to start stamping my images. Okay, so I have some watercolor paper because I'm going to use watercolor pencils to color my images in. And I'm stamping everything in black ink. And this is the Memento black ink that it's waterproof, so you can use watercolor pencils with it. So I'm just stamping out a whole bunch of these images from Love Story, all of the florals, and I'll be coloring them in, and then I'll be cutting them out with the coordinating thin cuts. So I'm just stamping a whole bunch. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I just like to have a lot to choose from when I start building my cards. So I'm just stamping out and using up all this, this whole panel of watercolor paper. Okay. And now I'm going to stamp my sentiment. It says, just because. I'm stamping it in black ink. And then I'm going to heat emboss clear embossing powder over the black ink. It just brings it to life and makes it pop and makes the black deeper. And um, I just love the effect. So I like to do this. 
So I'm sprinkling it with clear embossing powder and then I will heat it up with my heat tool. So we'll speed this up. So after I did this, I start looking at my colors and I decided that the light side of Capri worked better than the Glacier. So off camera, I, I did this, I repeated the just because process again and did it on the light side of Capri. Okay, so off camera, I've colored in everything with watercolor pencils and cut everything out with the coordinating thin cuts and we're ready to start building our card. So I'm gonna cut up my sentiment and I'm just trimming around it and then I will dovetail each end. So I'm not measuring, I'm just kind of going by the size of the sentiment and leaving enough on either side so that I can dovetail each side. So just snip vertically and then take each corner to meet that snip and you'll get your little dovetail. Okay, so now I have my sentiment and we can start building the card. So this is an A2 card base and I've got some um, foam that has adhesive on both sides. And so I'm going to use that to pop my, my uh, oxide panel. So first I'm going to put down this piece of Noteworthy. And that will be the base of my card. I'm just using Tape Runner. I'll put that down and then I'm going to add my oxide panel. So this one had adhesive already on it so I'm just sticking it to the back of the panel and then sticking the whole panel to the front of my card. Making sure that you can see a couple rows of those dots on that noteworthy paper. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of lay things out and then I'll start building and I'll speed this up pretty quick. But you can see my process of building this cluster of florals. So I'm adding most of them with tape runner and then my large flower I'm going to pop with uh, foam tape. So I'm just placing everything down and just keep building and adding and checking with my large flower how it's going to look before I actually adhere and kind of went a little crazy. I have a lot of stuff around in this corner, but I like the way it turned out. All right. Almost there. And then we'll add the flower. Okay. And for the last step, almost the last step, I'm going to add my sentiment. Also pop that with foam tape. And then, because I want a little added extra bling, these are the silver sequins. And in this mix, there are iridescent sequins. So I'm going through and cherry picking just the iridescent ones and adding a whole bunch of them to my card front. There's my finished card. So I appreciate you watching my video today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I will make a list of all the supplies that I use with links in the description below, and then you can shop at the Earl in the upper right corner of your screen. Thanks for watching.